So the microculture that um, I belong to is retail manager. I'm not I'm not a part of many microcultures, but that's definitely like a major one that I'm in. Um, so a retail manager, like I'm not, I work for like a store and I'm not like the top manager, the person that's in charge of everyone, but I am like one of the managers. And um, so to get there, you could either get hired as a retail manager or you can move up, which is what I did. I started off at the bottom as like a cashier, I guess. And I uh, moved up to become a retail manager. And I feel like it is a microculture. So I feel like all stores have like different microcultures. Like there's different rankings and I guess you can consider those as microcultures. So there are a lot of beliefs and values in this microculture. I, I'd say probably the top the top like value that I think any like retail place has, especially for like a manager is customer service. That's something that like, where you should always prioritize, like ensuring that the customer is satisfied with their experience at the store. And that's like something that like the people above us look at too. And they expect that to be getting done to like the best way possible. Um, another big, like value or belief we have is ensuring that like the store itself is functioning properly. So like the store operations are running smoothly. Um, we're like performing up to like the standards we have where uh, stores are usually graded on a lot of things. And um, we have to ensure that like we're getting the best grade possible for that. And then um, for characteristics of a retail manager, there are a variety of them, but for a good, for a good, manager you have to be very good at time management because there can be times where you have a lot of tasks and you got to ensure that they all get done so managing your time is really important for that another big thing is problem solving you're gonna encounter a lot of problems when it comes to this microculture and um it's good to like be able to solve them on your own like figuring out a way to solve them the best way possible to ensure everything is like gets back to the way it should be. Um, you should. You also need a lot of patience because like it can be a frustrating job at times. And um, having patience can go a long way, can help. I mean, without, without patience, things can end badly, put it that way. And then um, also being a good leader because as a retail manager, you're obviously like conducting people below you and um, being a good leader can go a long way as well to ensure, you know, like stuff is getting done and you'll have the people that you're leading, they'll like follow you and try to be, try to like do good as well. And then um, there are a lot of traits for a retail manager. So like, um, like I said, you have to direct those that are below you. You gotta, there's like a lot of stuff you have to do as a manager as a retail manager, you have to, you have to work with money. So like, you got to know how to count and you got to deposit it at the end of the day. You got to, like I said, direct people below you. You got to ensure that you have products to sell and ensure that they are being sold. So we're, so the company is actually making a profit and staying in business. Also got to ensure that the store is clean and organized as that can also go a long way with like satisfying the customers. And it'll just like help the whole you know, like the process of everything being organized is a lot better than being sloppy. And um, like I said in the beginning, ensuring customers are satisfied is very important too, because that can make a big deal for the business itself. So uh, for behavior and patterns of communication that are different from the dominant culture, you don't really need certain qualifications to become one. I mean, obviously, they'll, they'll look at you and they'll see if you'd fit the position, but you really don't need much to become one. Um, so everyone can become one, but it, they might not always remain one because like some people are just just aren't fit for the position. And um, so over time, you can see if you really are meant for that or not. And um, another big thing is communication is really important, not only with like customers, but with your coworkers as well. So being a retail manager, you have to be able to communicate with your customers, whether it's um 
so many different ways like um whether it's just like a casual like normal communication like a friendly type thing or if it's um to solve like resolve a problem you have to be able to communicate with them and resolve it and having good communication can help resolve things a lot better and easier versus like having bad communication with them can make stuff worse and with your coworkers as well being able to communicate with your coworkers is important cuz almost anywhere you go teamwork teamwork goes a long way and um so that starts with like being able to communicate with your coworkers and doing that also just makes the job a lot easier so uh five relevant facts or interesting ones about this microculture is like i stated before you don't need a degree for this position this is this can be relevant for someone that doesn't exactly have a degree and is looking at like at that type of position it's a good like i guess without a degree it's a good job to get um something else that's relevant is you do have to take care of money so if that's like something you're not good at or you don't enjoy um it's important to know that because you have to deal with that a lot um something interesting it's not really interesting but you can uh manage people that are much older than you so for my instance I'm a teenager and I be I'll be managing people that are like decades older than me and it's it's not really bad or anything but at at first it's it feels weird cuz you're used to having older people tell you what to do versus at as that position you're telling people a lot older than you what to do and it it feels weird at first but it's completely normal um something else that's relevant is you do a lot more than you expect so you'll get the job i guess and they like they'll give you an idea of what what's to come with the position but you can run into a lot of situations and stuff and it'll all turn out to be more than you initially expected and that can be overwhelming sometimes and maybe change your mind on like the whole decision of becoming one and um final like relevant fact is every day can be different with the job so like the one day can be completely different from the next as to like what you're going to do or what you're like going to deal with whether it's like with people or like with the job itself it's never always the same thing like there's always something new you're going to have to deal with and that's also very relevant when looking at the microculture all right so to conclude everything uh the microculture I'm a part of being retail manager it's not I consider it a microculture. I really don't value it like too much because it's just like a part-time job I have, but it's definitely something that's like a part of my life. And um I definitely think that like it's a microculture as it has like certain values and beliefs we follow. People within the culture have certain characteristics and they behave certain ways. And um I just feel like the whole like retail thing, there's a variety of sub uh microcultures within it. So like there's the retail manager like I said and then you could even put like the people below you like the cashiers or the uh sales associates or whatever and uh even maybe the customers can be uh considered a uh microculture and then those above you like the corporate people that's also a microculture cuz we all like everyone each thing has different like beliefs and characteristics and we all behave differently and we're all treated differently and stuff like that So it's definitely a microculture. So even though I don't expect to be a part of this microculture for much long, so like I said it's just like a part-time job I have. It's it's definitely one that's taught me a lot of things and I can use I will be I feel like as I go through life I'll be a part of a variety of microcultures and I feel like I can take things from the past ones I've been a part of such as this one. This will be huge for me in the future as um it's taught me a lot of things and um I'll benefit from being a part of this microculture for the future microcultures I'm a part of. And um yeah, that's everything. That's the microculture I'm a part of.